confused. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be going through some figures that I am currently looking for in trades or sales or what have you. And I figured that, you know, who better than my followers and my awesome subscribers to help me out and find these figures. So uh, I'm just going to take you through them. I think there is um, maybe 10 of them. There may be less than 10, but we'll only find out if we go through them. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, so the first figure that I'm looking for is the Elite 7 Shawn Michaels. You know it does come with the DX jersey and hat. If you don't have the hat and jersey, you know, I can live with that, but I would really like the figure, you know, good condition, you know, no crazy loose joints, no major paint chipping, mainly the DX stuff. If the camo has a bit of chipping, that'll be okay, but I don't want any destroyed figures. I'll probably head swap it anyway, so don't worry about the head scan, but uh, I really want the lime green wristbands to be intact, and I really want the pants to look pretty good. So if you have the Elite 7 HBK, hit me up in my DMs on Instagram. Next up, guys, we do have a Batista figure. It is the Elite 2 Batista. I'm really trying to work on my Batista timeline. I want to do a bunch of Batista customs, so I really need this uh, sort of older-looking Batista in these trunks right here. So if you guys have this figure, it would really help me out. Again, if you guys have any questions about my trades, you know that I have that two massive boxes of figures for trade video that I need you to go watch if you're interested in any of that. And you have any of the figures here in this video, please let me know. So not only am I looking for the Elite 2 Batista, guys, but I'm also looking for the Elite 6. I really like this one a lot. You don't need the microphone or the sunglasses, but this figure is awesome, and I'd really like to have it. I would appreciate it if it had the elbow pads, but besides that, I don't need any of the other accessories. Even if it's missing knee pads, that will be okay. I just really need the tattoos to be intact and the trunks designs to be really nice. So Elite 6 Batista is the next one on the list. Next up, guys, we do have Blue Tista, the most recent Batista Elite that we got. Besides the Hall of Champions, this is probably the more common figure that uh, you guys will have, but it is the Elite 33 Batista, and I want to do all of his return 2014 attire, so if you guys... Um, have this Batista, please hit me up on the DMs on Instagram again. This one's probably going to be the more common one, but I will be needing it to make all of his different attires that he wore in 2014. Coming at you with another Batista, guys. We have the Elite 30 in the black trunks right here. Another pretty common figure. You know, it does have the leg tattoo and stuff. Again, tight joints, uh, no major tattoo chipping. If it has any head swaps or whatever, it'll be okay. I can take care of that. But uh, the, the tattoos need to be intact, tight joints, and um, make sure that leg tattoo is okay as well. But Elite 30 Batista, it is, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a lot of Shawn Michaels and Batista figures in this video. But uh, you guys are going to help me out a ton. Next up, guys, we do have another Shawn Michaels Elite, and it is the WrestleMania 30 Heritage figure, I do believe. You know, it came with this one, and then we had Bret Hart, but uh, this one doesn't need the accessories. I don't need the accessories, but I do uh, have a request that the decals on the pants and the arms are not, you know, terrible. I need them to be in full tact, so uh, tight joints and decals not rubbed off completely. If there's some chest hair missing or something that's not too terrible, I'll still take it, but uh, please make sure those decals decals and the uh yeah make sure the decals and the joints is the biggest thing next up guys we have another Shawn michaels elite and it is the ringside exclusive Shawn michaels in this colorway right here you know it's very similar to the walmart exclusive that we just got in the flashback series from there but it is indeed different i've never i've owned this figure one time but i turned it into a dolph ziggler custom so i'm really trying to get it back in my collection and put it up on the Shawn michaels shelf so if you guys have this i'll really appreciate it i can't find it anywhere besides ringside site and i was hoping to make a deal for it rather than go through them so if you guys could help me out with this one that would be very much appreciated. Next up, guys, we do have a Target exclusive Hall of Champions Batista from WrestleMania 21. This one's actually pretty, pretty common. I think uh, I said the Elite 33 was the most common. This one will probably be the second most or the most common here with this figure. Um, I already have one of these, but again, I want to make a bunch of customs from 2005 and this look of Batista. So if you guys have this figure, please help me out. Again, I don't need the accessories. Just make sure that the decals are in good, good shape. The tattoos aren't too chipped and, you know, the decals on the trunks aren't too chipped and that will be fine with me. So Hall of Champions Batista is the next one on the list. Next up, we have the Shawn Michaels Walgreen exclusive in the DX pants, guys. I really need this one because you can use it to do a bunch of different Shawn Michaels in, you know, his different long pants attires. And Mattel has been slacking on the long pants Shawn Michaels figures. So um, if you guys could help me out with this one, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, I do not need the hat or the shirt. That will not be necessary. But if you guys have the figure and, um, I don't know, just tight joints really for this one, that will be good with me. 
And last but not least, guys, we do have the Elite 3 Shawn Michaels, the first ever Shawn Michaels that we were given by Mattel. Um, this one's pretty freaking rare. I don't think I've seen many people own this figure at all. Um, if you do have it, I really don't expect it to be in the greatest condition considering it's so old. But if you have this thing complete, that would be incredible. But also, uh, again, tight joints, the pants, decals, those white, you know, looking designs on his pants. If those were in good condition, that would help me out. Um, head scan doesn't matter. Arms really don't matter that much. Just make sure the joints are decently tight and then that the pant decals are not completely destroyed. But that pretty much does it for the figures that I'm looking for at this moment. Guys, again, if you are wondering what figures I have for trade, go watch my two massive boxes full of figures for trade video that I posted maybe a week ago or so. But thank you guys so very much for watching again. If you have any of these figures and you want to make a deal, please hit me up on Instagram. That would absolutely help me out. I won't be replying to the comments down below because there's going to be so freaking many of them. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.